Yo, 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 what it is, what it does, what it was, oh, what of us, magnificent. about to be one of those moments, about to break down this shorty short shoot that I did with Aesthetic, how I lit it, how I went about it, how I walked it, how I talked it. Let's get active and let's get it done. All right. So for this shoot, we went really, really vibey, a lot of colors, a lot of contrast, a lot of just glitter and gloss and all that good stuff as he's performing to the girl of his dreams. Nope, girl of the scene. Nope, girl of this music video. You know what I mean? I'm anesthetic with the R5. I think it's 24 to 70. Great camera. So this is how we break it down. Pablo tube to the right. See the little bit of uh, level on the right hand side of her face, giving that glow of red. On the back hand side, we have a 600D as a backlight and we had a positive feel just to put a little bit of level on that opposite side of her face, the left side of her face. Here we have an Astera shooting a little bit of purple onto Shorty. Then we have a Nova on the opposite side as his key, kind of shooting to the dark side of his face. So yeah, that's how that worked. Um, people kind of go crazy with the tubes. Um, everybody, every time people see tubes, they think they're sabers and stuff gets hectic. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I like this shot. We didn't use this shot. They didn't use this shot. I didn't do the edit, but none of my business. Great performance scene. It was pretty cool. Um, Pablo tube on both ends. Um, this is kind of flat because it's not colored, but in key light right in front of them. Worked out pretty well next scene as he's performing to his girl of his dreams nope girl of this scene no girl of this video i need to start doing that it's getting kind of corny anyways um this is a flat scene i really don't like how it's lit but anyways it worked out it looks like we're focusing on the person in the middle but she's out of focus but it worked out um just a little bit of hair light on the girl with the pink hair simple fast in a hurry nothing too big This is the framework in its perfectness. Perfectionist. Moi. Perfect. Shadow to the camera. Key to the right. We're shooting on the saddle side. And you see how the and we have a little bit of neg on the left side too, just to put a little bit of darkness and purple. And an edge light. You see the little bit of white on the side of his face? Yeah, work perfectly. This is the framework. Right here, we put a Pablo tube. I think up there it's not supposed to be there you can see it but right behind them it's probably a little bit on the blown and then just pumps level on both sides just to make this kind of look really 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 flat this is kind of flat but they bumped up the contrast and editing that looked fine anyways this was the shoot with shorty um quick 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 lighting setup we're probably were there for like three hours so it was kind of running gun and I had to do it really, really fast. But every time that we came in for a close up, that's when I really, really focused on um, establishing the framework. Again, the framework is essentially having your key light on the opposite side of the camera. So that just builds more depth to the scene, more shadows, more contrast, all that good stuff. Now, Mo every time you're kind of doing the framework, it feels like it's a low-key type of shoot, but you can brighten it up a little bit. But essentially, every time you see cinematography online on music videos and you see shadow, bright, it's usually key, neg, fill, hair light, same thing. Easy to not Easy to explain, hard to do. But all my shoots, I usually tend to use that policy strategy. Yeah, man, it's been helping me out. But anyways, till next time. See you next time. There'll be a next time. Subscribe. Hit that like button. You don't need to hit, hit the bell yet. I ain't there yet. But till next time, holla back, y'all. Yo.